guys, welcome back to our channel, Everything Beauty XO. I know I've already done a hair care tutorial or like how I style my hair, but I figured I'd do a updated version because I've actually discovered some new products that are just as good as the ones I used before, but it's just a new routine and I find it's a little bit better than the last one. So I thought I'd share it with you guys because I do get a lot of compliments on my hair and people are always, always, always asking me how I style my hair, like what I put in my hair to make it the way it is. And now, don't forget, my hair is naturally curly, so even if you do use these products, you may not get the exact same results. Don't forget to subscribe to catch our latest videos with me and April. We should be coming out with videos soon. It's just that our lives are really, really busy. We both work full time. Like, April works two jobs, I work one. Sometimes our schedules just don't match and we can't see each other as often as we'd like. But you know, bear with us. We are trying our best to create a schedule that fits both of us to see each other more and to film for you guys and to give you more tutorials on makeup and just anything that has to do with beauty. Stay tuned, we will be coming out with some new videos. That's just a mini life update. Of course, I'll be leaving a uh, list of products that I've been using and links to where you can find them in the description box below. So if you wanna know where I get some of these products or where you can find them, you can just click those links and it'll probably directly take you to those products. I'm gonna stop talking now and if you wanna know how I do my hair, just continue watching. All right, so this is pretty much what it looks like after the shower. What I like to do is I like to take a cotton t-shirt and I like to wrap my hair inside a cotton t-shirt. This helps to um, prevent frizzing and just dry looking hair. I find it actually helps better than a towel because the towel, I find it really does frizz out your hair. Step number one, after your shower, definitely put your hair in a cotton t-shirt. This will actually help the drying process a little bit quicker if you're in a hurry or um, you just don't like to work with your hair super soaking wet. I do, but when you in a rush it's definitely the most convenient the entire hair process actually starts in the shower so the first thing I like to use is my Tresemme shampoo this is the coconut milk and aloe vera nourish and replenish shampoo so first what I like to do is I like to wash my hair thoroughly with the shampoo I get into my roots so this gets rid of uh, buildup or anything that you've had in your hair for the past week or however long you haven't washed your hair for it says that it has no dyes no parabens and it's silicone free. It's pretty good for curly hair. I mean, it'd be better if it was sulfate free because this will prevent your hair from changing color or drying out. I know that if you have sulfates in your hair products, it's best to stay away if you have curly hair. But you know, a girl's on a budget and I don't have like $40 to spend on one shampoo that I'm gonna go through in probably two weeks. So I like to use this for now. A better option would probably be the Diva Curl line. Their shampoos and conditioners are amazing. I've tried a bunch of their other shampoos. I don't find that they work as well. I find they dry out my hair a little bit more, but since this has the like coconut oil, I find it's a little bit more hydrating and just a little bit easier on my hair. For conditioning my hair, I use the Tresemme Coconut Milk and Aloe Vera Conditioner. It is from the same line, so it doesn't have any dyes, parabens, or silicone. It does work really well. I've tried other conditioners from their other lines, and they do, they work, but I find the more I use them, the drier my hair gets. So I stay away from I find this one really feels nice when you're massaging it into your hair. It's also easier to comb out your hair with this conditioner. I find it gets really creamy and, and silky. I like to use a wide tooth comb to brush my hair in the shower during conditioning. The good thing about this is it doesn't pull your hair. It just goes right through it It's easier to use and brush through your curls It's a lot easier on your hair because you don't want to destroy your curls You also don't want to rip out any hair in the process even though it's inevitable You're going to rip out some hair They usually say don't brush your hair when it's wet But you know a girl with curly hair you cannot be dry brushing your hair because it actually I feel like if I dry brush my hair It falls out even more and my hair breaks and I hear the, the, the dry cracking of it and it, it just it makes me so sad so I like to prevent any of that and I like to brush my hair in the shower to style my hair I use the Shea Moisture coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie with silk protein and neem oil 
So this is recommended for people with thick and curly hair, which is exactly what I have. And it is a anti-frizz, moisture and shine smoothie. They say it's a smoothie because it's not quite the same consistency as a leave-in conditioner. And it is a lot more moisturizing than a conditioner. I find with a leave-in conditioner, the next day, my hair is really dry still. Like even though it's meant to nourish and hydrate your hair, I find this one feels really soft and smooth the next day and I don't feel like my hair has been exhausted and it's super dry so I really 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 recommend this smoothie to apply after you wash it. It is also really affordable I'm pretty sure this entire thing so inside is 12 ounces of product it's between 15 and 20 dollars I bought it maybe two months ago and I still have a little bit less than half in here mind you I do use this every single day and I also use it on days where I'm just braiding up my hair. It's really good for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this into my hair. So I take an amount just like that and I rub it between my fingers. I'm just gonna flip my hair to the side and scrunch it into my hair. And then I flip it to the other side, obviously. And I'm just gonna scrunch, keep scrunching. I'm gonna take a bit more product and I'm just gonna rub it again between my fingers and I'm gonna flip my hair forward and I'm gonna apply it like that as well so that you get every single section of your hair. You don't wanna go too close to your roots because I find when I do that, it gets too greasy and uh, looks too flat when I get right to the roots. So I like to stay away and avoid that area. Now after I've applied my curling smoothie, I'll apply one of these two. Unfortunately, both of them are actually finished right now, but the one on the left is the Coconut and Hibiscus Hold and Shine Moisture Mist by Shea Moisture, and the other one's by Diva Curl. It's a shine and finish finishing spray. I really, really recommend these two. They're both around, I think, $17 course I've dropped it. They're both really good for a finishing spray. Instead of putting hairspray in your hair, I recommend to put a hydrating hold and shine kind of spray because it makes it look nicer, it makes it look healthier, and it locks in moisture better than a drying hairspray would. That was me pretending to put in my shining mist because I'm completely out of it and I'm really sad, but it's fine, you get it, you get it, you just put this in your hair, you spray it in and it holds the moisture in and it works. So this is another product that I put into my hair after I have applied my smoothie. Normally what I would do is I would let it air dry throughout the day, but if you're in a hurry and you're on the go, I would recommend to use a blow dryer that has a diffuser application on the for the mouth. This is the one I use, it's by Conair and I just apply it to my blow dryer. This is what it looks like with the mouth attached to the blow dryer. And what you wanna do with this, if you wanna dry your hair quicker than just air dry, you just kinda of place your hair into the combed areas. And don't pull or anything, but just, just pump it up and down. To be honest, I don't like to use blow dryers. I might, once in a blue moon, use a blow dryer on my hair because I'm in, ab in an absolute rush. But um, normally, I like how it looks when my hair is air dried because it creates less frizzing because you, you don't want to apply too much heat to curly hair because it's already a really dry type of hair. I know some people who use diffusers and it works amazing on them and their hair looks flawless and not frizzy but for me I know when I use it I'm like a hot mess so I just avoid it at all costs but it does work like you could definitely use it just you got to make sure that you're doing it right so here's a tip when I'm sleeping I like to use a silk or satin pillowcase this is the one I this is mine I actually purchased this from Winners and it cost me about $10. I have to say, I don't think I can ever sleep on a cotton pillowcase ever again. This is definitely essential for anybody with curly hair. It really, really does prevent frizzing and protects your hair from tangling throughout the night. Your hair is not getting mixed up and bunched together and just rubbing against the, a cotton pillowcase. Because I find when I use a pill cotton pillowcase, my hair does tend to tangle a little bit easier and I do wake up in the morning with more frizz 
frizz and more dryness. So I find this protects your hair from drying out too much and it protects it from tangling and it also protects you from frizzing. So I definitely recommend a satin or a silk pillowcase when you're sleeping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let this dry and I will be right back and show you guys the finished look. This is what it looks like after it's been almost fully dried. Today I actually used a diffuser and I'm not happy about it, but for the purpose of the video and to film this a little bit quicker, instead of waiting all day to let my hair dry, even though it's not really frizzy right now, but it does come out a little bit less frizzy without the diffuser. This is what it looks like. This is the finished look. It feels so bouncy and light and healthy and it's soft so it doesn't feel dry or heavy so I really really like this combination of products used together so I have another tip for you guys other than sleeping on a silk pillow I also do recommend to putting your hair up in a ponytail a really high one actually just like at the top of your head the best hair tie to use for curly hair is a scrunchie uh, you can get a satin one or this one kind of feels like I don't even know what this material is, but it's really, really soft. So what you do is you take your hair and you put it in a really high ponytail. And this is what it looks like. The purpose of the ponytail is that it prevents your hair from tangling even more and when you wake up in the morning you won't have a crease as opposed to using a regular rubber hair tie or using a clip to clip your hair because I know sometimes when I put my hair in a ponytail or in a clip when I undo it I have that that hair tie crease and it's actually the most annoying thing in the world so I do recommend using a scrunchie to tie up your hair and you won't be disappointed that pretty much sums up my hair care routine and the products I use. Um, the curls actually came out really nice today. I hope that if you guys do use these products, they work just as well for you as they do for me. I have recommended them to a couple of my friends and they've used it and it looks really good on their hair too. Even though their hair is not as curly as mine, they still did moisturize and keep it hydrated. Just because a product makes your hair look nice, it doesn't mean that it's good for your hair. Uh, some of the products I've actually shown you, like the Shea Moisture, smoothie and I think the diva curl products they're vegan or at least cruelty free I'm not hundred percent sure but when I do find out I will leave it in the description box below hope you guys like these tips and I hope you guys found this video useful and I hope to see you guys soon bye